Ah, shut up, Sebastian. Ah. It's the Beast Master here. Ah. Welcome back to Trick and Treat. So today we got a very special video. We are joined with the classic Sonic. The classicest of Sonics. Hello. What's up? What's up? Can I do? Soon I come back to my senses. My flashlight is lying on the ground, shining towards the empty air. I immediately pick it up, and it was my only protection against the darkness that surrounds me. And I remember Stephen and Alfred were with me. Stephen! Alfred! Can you hear me? Without thinking, I screamed their names into the dark while trying to find them with my flashlight, but there was no trace of them. They were gone. Where the hell are they? What the heck just happened? I really don't understand anything. Shit. We should have stayed home. This is proof. This is not a proof of courage. We could be in danger. We have to find them. 12:19 a.m. Oh shit, Sonic! Hug me close. Even though we're you're in a different state than me. Dude, hugs. Hugs, hugs man. Hug. This is scary. Little time has passed, and since I started to look for my friends. And I, I already can't find, stand this place. I'm going crazy in this forest. The darkness that covers it is unnatural. It's a darkness that steals your sanity, replacing it with anxiety. To make it worse, the damp and cold, it's damp and cold as the winter is carrying the strong rot smell. I like how the, I don't like how the music is just getting stronger and stronger. As if there were corpses of animals hidden throughout the forest. The atmosphere of this place is oppressive with every step you take, it makes you more uncomfortable. Since I started to look for my friends, I felt like something was watching me, but there is nothing. Bro, I feel like something's gonna come out of the darkness and jump scare me. Like, I honestly yes. feel like that. What? Oh! Oh, right! Oh, I totally forgot to put on my screen share, bruh. I am a retard. But I do think- I mean, look at this! This is not what I have! Doesn't it look creepy because it's black and white? Yeah, it's like Limbo. Limbo isn't that much of a creepy game, but it's- the black and white makes it creepy. Yeah! I saw my voice full of frustration. I just wanted to get out of here. Continue walking void of any hope. No matter where I look or how much I walk, I find nothing. I cannot even hear the sounds of animals. Rather, it seems like they are already dead and rotting. No, I have to calm myself. I said to myself. Seriously, the character for you. Yeah, like, that's retarded. I don't like how it makes it free. Trash. I know. I wanted to be beastie. It's not that trash, though. I stopped for a moment to rest. I breathe deeply, but then a rotten air of this place was me no good. Immediately start to cough as I got something something stuck in my throat. Shit, shit, shit! What am I gonna do? This cursed forest seems endless. Even if a miracle could escape, I cannot abandon Stephen and Alfred. Screwed up. Again, I sigh, feeling the verge of tears. My frustration is building up, but I have to do my best to keep calm. Bruh, I keep thinking there's a silhouette up here for some reason. I do not know why, it's fucking scary. Where? Yeah, I'm telling you. You gotta figure it out. If I fall into despair, then there is no doubt. I will be joining the list of missing persons. Ah, missing! I, in the end, I decide to keep walking. Step by step, I should get somewhere. At least I was convinced staying in the same place would not do me any good. Even if I was only to distinguish myself feeling that I am going, that I am doing something, I wanted to continue walking. Time passes without any changes. Only the sounds of footsteps can be heard. Knowing that soon the events can stop, could be surrounded by a silence, but it's silence that is initiative to keep walking. Sonic! 
What? I'm scared. I'm very scared. But my legs were already hurting. Suddenly, I crack. I hear a crack at my feet. I instantly take a step back to see what made that sound. What is this? I swear to myself, surprised, discovering that I stepped on an animal bone. I believe that is from an animal, although I do not rule out the possibility that belongs to a person. But for my own good, I prefer not to think about it. An expression of an anguish is drawn on my face. It is best to ignore it. ignore it. I have to keep walking. Suddenly, flashlight. My flashlight reveals something. Without hesitation, I point towards it there again. Oh shit! Sebastian, come here. I'm scared. We gotta be scared together. CS, are you there? We all have to be yes, scared together. Oh, oh no, no, the kitty! No. Oh! This is not scary, it's gross! I only realized to my surprise it was the white cat. Why cat? The one from before, which that it made an awful meow, but this time it's lying on the ground. Okay. It appear appears fainted and wounded. I tried to say fainted and wounded at the same time for some reason. And what should I do? Should I pick it up or ignore it? Sonic, Sonic, what should I do? Pick it up. Pick it up. You gotta help the cat. It's best to continue it's not without scary. waiting here. It's not jump scary. The cat is dangerous for her full. I ended up with this way. Yeah, it's not jump scary. Even though so strange. You shouldn't have picked it up. Come on, come on. You shouldn't have picked it up. I'm scared, bro. No, I shouldn't scary. have picked it up. It's gonna really jump scare you. Watch his face. Closer. Conscious. There's a line of blood coming from her mouth. I'm a real idiot. I said to myself as I clean the blood from the, her mouth, the handkerchief that I had with me. Fortunately, it doesn't wake up. And I close her mouth, making her appearance a little better. As she seems to be peacefully sleeping. Oh yeah. That's cute. Oh, oh, I'm excited to figure out how to sleep. Oh my god. I don't know what the powers of this cat are, but if she brought me here, maybe she can return me into my world. Yeah. Okay, this is a good kitty. Yeah, good, good kitty. I'm gonna eat some of my chocolates. I'm like awesome. Oh, we already have for it, it's scary. What do you think is gonna happen, bro? Like, it's this is actually scary. You're gonna wake up and attack right you. No, Michael Jackson's gonna come out of the shadows and do the moonwalk. Oh, no. Ow. no, he's gonna do the thriller because he died. Yeah. With, with Bear in my arms, I decide to do the best thing I can is continue walking. 2.31 a.m. Again, I find myself in the dark forest, walking aimlessly. Only moving forward, but I didn't mean... It didn't seem I was getting somewhere. In my arms, I carried the cat, which sleeps soundly. Come here. You Wait, you want a voiceless one? Or Come here. You'll be safe. I suddenly stopped. Probably just believe oh, no, on my face at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Have that voice again. Yeah. I'm to myself. I don't want to listen to me. Shortly after I found the cat, a serious voice appeared in my mind. It's a feminine voice, soft and gentle. As if it belongs to a princess on a fairy tale, but I can't trust it. Am I crazy, or is this forest, or is it the forest? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what I'm like. Dude, your loud sounds from your mic are scaring me right now. Like seriously, every time like you move your mic, it makes me jump. Baby. Oh my god. Baby. And I feel the cat move in my arms. Look down confused just to show her own red eyes. She opens her eye red eyes suddenly. Oh no. So I'm already here. Why did you talk? Why did you turn to me? 
become quiet in that in, at that instant. I swear, I'm gonna break my leg. Sebastian, come on with me. I'm about to break my no, leg. No, I am going to die. You're not gonna die. For a moment, the two stayed motionless, staring into the eyes of the other. The eyes of the cat are disturbing to to me, but also there is something fascinating about them. Something that attracts me. Uh, I lose my myself in her eyes as if I'm hypnotized. Until she suddenly jumps with the attention of scratching my face. <laughs> oh, that's not that scary. Oh, my God. oh I was no. scared of nothing. Yeah. It's not really good. Oh, not jump scares in this. I refill reflexes is pushing her at the same time. I jump back, turning my head to dodge her claws. I managed to dodge her attack, but in the process, I dropped my flashlight. At least you're not gonna scream a bad word like in the flashlight. I panicked and acted clumsy. The flashlight falls near me, lighting up a tree in the city. As soon as I let my hands through, remember how dense the abnormal darkness is. I quickly pick it up without, with the, not even thinking one. before taking action. I light. I then light the place where the cat was. Well, I discovered she had arched her body angrily as she feared an attack from me. Those red eyes stared at me again, shining the light of the flashlight. If they were jewels reflecting of a fearsome hatred and rejection towards me. I like her. My body freezes after seeing them. I can't th even think. Oh. The cat lets out a thunderous meow similar to the one no! before, but weaker. No! No, it's more like meow! 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 Although. What? Pit users. Although, not any less frightening. There's no doubt something is wrong with that animal. It must be cursed. It is cursed. Everything is her fault. She must be some kind of evil spirit, a pet of the witches. I feel how panic seizes me. My heart quickly, my heart beats quickly, begging me to do something. My mouth is dry and my forehead is covered with cold sweat. What should I do? Get in front! Get. Confront! No! Confront! Yeah, should I confront or escape it, Sonic? Escape! Uh, should I just go the scary route or the regular route? Scary route. Um. Let's go to scary. Okay, then the best to do it. Scary route. Okay. It is the best for me to escape this cursed cat. I made a mistake by bringing her with me. That cat only brings problems. I don't feel very sure about that it's voice, but it's perhaps it can guide me to. No! Don't go it's towards it's a it's voice, you idiot! You're gonna get kidnapped. Are you retarded? You're gonna get kidnapped. That's why you never should pick the It wind sounds wind. kind and I certainly don't want to stay with this animal. It's not take faces. With that in mind, I try to move forward, but the cat blocks my path. Look. It's Mr. Man! It's Mr. Man! Holding a knife. He's holding a knife. Like no matter how hard I try, she moves faster than me, showing me her claws and fangs furiously as if preparing to attack me. My instincts tell me that it would be better for me not to go one step further. I don't know what I can do, but the cat is dangerous. Is your character five years old? Suddenly, the cat begins to meow thunderously, almost making me deaf. Sonic, you haven't meowed. Yeah. My heart skips a beat with I each of the. Fart. What? <laughs> what? The cat farts? No, I heard you fart. I did not fart. My heart skips a beat. Each one of them as if I were hearing a wild beast roar furiously. Beast is coming out of the shadows. <laughs> so funny. My breathing oh, becomes what? agitated. Those meows are wrecking my nerves. I have no other way out. I don't care about the voice yeah. anymore. All I want to do is lose that cat from sight. Ooh, where is it? It's right behind you. So not wasting a second more, I start to run the opposite direction, begging she was not following me. So I'm, of course, not looking back, forgetting about no, every she, everything right except my desire you. to get away from her. I swear, you will be behind you. 
I have no idea where I'm going or how long it's been since I started to run, but I don't care. Ooh, the cat. My lungs burn and my heart beats anxiously, begging me for a rest, but I cannot give myself that luxury. At least it's not a black cat. Stronger the pleas of rest from my body are the pleas from my soul crying, terrified, asking me to continue running as I can't until I can't anymore. Sometimes I hear the voice again and sounding in my head. Whenever it happens, the echo of the cat's meows are heard throughout the forest, freezing my blood again and reminding me that I cannot stop. Yeah. Feel sorry for the voice, but I can't answer your call. So desperate, more than three times I've fallen flat on the ground. Bruh, you shouldn't fall that easily. Like, it's hard to fall. Hey, Mr. Man's back. Oh yeah, why is he holding something? Because he's gay. Oh! It's Mr. Man in the clouds. Yeah, he's kind of gay. And many more times I hurt with branches of uh, trees. Man. Pain doesn't stop me. I keep oh. running until my legs can't ball. go on. Can yeah. Ball. What a cat A single step further. I think that cat. Oh no! It's almost 3 a.m. Oh yeah, it's almost 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 2:57 a.m. Seven, um, from oh man, this is even creepier because it's black and white. And there's a moon. It's a full moon, I think. Bro, that looks like an eyeball. Yeah. Look at that. That looks like an eyeball. What if that is? I don't know how long I've been running for, but minutes I've had heard of them, neither the voice nor meows. Much to my relief, finally. I stop resting my hands on my knees, feeling the verge of fainting. Okay. I breathe using my mouth, trying to fill my lungs with as much air as I can. My legs are hurt, they have been hammered mercilessly. The pain does not bother me because I finally feel safe. Suddenly I look up to see something fills me with joy. I see the exit to the forest. I did it. I escaped this demonic forest. No, I didn't real. become another victim of the disappearances. Just thinking about it brings tears to my eyes. Axel! 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 Suddenly I hear someone calling my name. But it isn't any strange voice, it's the voice of my friends who are looking for me. Hey, over here! I shout without hesitation, a bit difficulty because of my shortness of breath. Soon they found me impatiently running towards me. Where were you? Standing. Wait. Steven. Wait, was Steven? Steven? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steven. Where were you? The worry was killing us! Steven said with a face I don't remember having ever seen before. Before answering, I take a deep breath. A deep breath! breath. Deep. <gasps> Inside the forest, I couldn't find the exit. That's strange. After it hit us, we both woke up out of the, out of the woods. We thought you'd be close, but we couldn't find you anywhere. Hmm. Explained Alfred. It's right there. Don't eat in the video yet. We're making a video. <laughs> Explained Alfred, who also <laughs> yeah, I looks at me with relief on his face. And he didn't try to find me in the forest. He said the feeling a little annoyed because I didn't go to save me as great friends. Instantly, both Steven and Alfred shook their heads in denial. We didn't- I didn't want to go back in. Alfred said, almost eating nail- almost eating nails from imagining it. Me neither! After seeing that demonic cat, no! Also, we hoped that- Bro, this game has a lot of typos. Like, who wrote this game? That's what he had. Ha! Also, we had hopes that we had hopes that you would be outside just as we were. I sat after hearing them, but I soon forget my annoyance. Well, I really can't blame you. The most important thing is that we're all safe. Yes, but yes, but that was some somewhat terrifying. <gasps> Confessed Stephen with a pale face. After the after the roar, I didn't know what was going on going to become of us. I was about to tell them about all I had to go through, but just before saying that, a word changed in my mind. 
they didn't need to know the important thing is we escaped and nobody got hurt. Well, I think we've had enough of this test of courage. We should get back home. I said, looking horribly tired. Without hesitation, both of them responded with a nod. After that, everyone started to walk back home without looking back. Despite everything, I have to say that our main goal was fulfilled. What was that? That was Sonic. We had a memorable oh, night. Damn it. The legend is true. Now I know it. Oh, wow. So die. Oh, is that it? That was the game? Okay. Okay, let's try some different endings then. You know? So, well, you don't look at like the this episode, right? Skip it! Okay, let's see what we this time. It's best to continue without waking her. The cat is dangerous. It's her fault I ended up in this place, and my friends are missing. And now I don't know what the cat is capable of doing, so I decided to leave behind and continue walking. 2.37 a.m. That was a really short game, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Man again. I soon lost sight of the cat. Oh, hey, it is Mr. Man again. Hey, Mr. Man! My oh, Mr. Man. He's in the clouds right here. Do you see it? Yes, he is. It's a silhouette of a man. He looks See? like he's wearing glasses for some reason. Yeah, he does look like he's wearing some goggles or something. Yeah. Once more, I find myself in the dark forest. Walking aimless me, I only moving forward, but I didn't seem like it was getting somewhere. Cat Paul. Come here. You'll be safe. Oh, it's baby. I suddenly stop. It's baby. Hey, that's Although it wasn't easy to see this bleak on my face at the moment. It's that voice again. Asserting myself with no one listening to me. Shortly after, my mind away from the mysterious voice appeared in my head. The cat, the cat. cat. Wait, I got away from the cat. A mysterious voice appeared in my mind. A feminine voice, soft and gentle, it belonged to a princess, like it belonged to, to a princess or a fairy from a fairy tale. But I can't trust it. I'm really going crazy or this uh, so it is more, more clearly, stronger, and more often. She seems to be leading me somewhere. It doesn't inspire me with confidence, but between the voice and staying here in this putrid boy forest that seems to have no end, I choose to follow it. Oh my god! Are you retarded? Oh, Shortly after, I find I arrive to a clearing at the forest. The last, at last, I see the night sky. The full moon shines elegantly around a blanket of darkness and stars. Beautiful image, but there's something strange in it. Yeah, there is. How weird. Dinosaur. Wasn't there a half moon tonight? Dinosaur! Dinosaur! No, I said to myself as I look at the moon, trying to remember the vague memory in my mind. Anyways, it's not important. The moon will not come to save me. Oh, look, it's a moon naughty. Oh, Yo, don't go in there! Please go don't! Go in there! Go in there! I lower my sight, and then I notice there was a cabin in the clearing. Now it's a So I didn't feel half like seeing it before, I think. The cabin looked old and worn down, even depressing, but I'm lucky there's someone there. Oh. Open the door. I'm waiting for you, my knight. Suddenly hear the voice again. It was in the cabin, no doubt. For I'm saving right here. Yeah, I'm gonna get jump scared and die. I'm gonna jump, get jump scared and die? Yeah, I'm screaming to your pants. Sorry. Somehow her voice sounds different this time, and I'm a, has an, expl um, an explicable kindness, even love. As I feel, as I feel like a uh, man returning home to see his wife. After thinking about it that moment, I can't help but laugh at myself. How silly! I'm really losing my mind. So as a joke at hiding my anxiety with humor. In this case, there is nothing for me than to open that door. However, I can't stop thinking about I'm um, forgetting something. My hand opens the door of the cabin. Oh my god. The PS4 got tight. Oh my god. Sonic! It just got What's in here? It shouldn't be dead. You need a virtual hug? The way to me is there is something that leaves me perplexed. It's a cat. 
the bodies of the five missing people hanging as they were puppets. What? This is turning. You're retarded. This is turning. Why did you do that? Turning to dirt. Okay, okay. The eyes of all of them are facing me. Between them is a woman with a big smile. In my eyes was amazement, and my lips got dry. Finally, I remember what I was forgetting when it was too late. Thank you for saving me by giving me your life," said the voice with an incredible love, but announcing my horrible destiny. It's true. Matthew disappeared in a clearing without any trace. I have no breath to speak. I just know that we had to add someone more to the list. Okay, so that was a bad ending, apparently. Yeah, that's right. What was the girl look like? I wanted to see her sexy face. It's probably Monica. Yeah, it was probably Monica. I don't want to look at her anymore. Kill us. Okay, what about... Okay, we still have one more thing to do. Yeah, I got the wimp ending. Okay, pick her up. Blah, blah, we've already seen all this. It's not scary. Confront the cat, boy. Confront the cat. Confront Let's be a man. <laughs> no, what? No, I should not decide. Despair. I have to calm down and think carefully of what should I do. Take a deep breath and look at again at her. Soon the expression in my eyes changes from fear to courage. I realize it's only a cat without a doubt. Strange one, but my life is not actually in danger. It looks like Omega Folly up there, you see it? Da, da, da. Hey, it's it. Mr. Man! It's Mr. Man! Yay, Mr. Man! Mm. That it isn't a tiger staring at me, but a simple cat. Wait, there's a skull on him. Oh no, Mr. Man. What? We've been killing cats? I don't like you. Apparently, her only power was those weird meows. Yeah. If she could kill me, she would have already done it. Yeah. So I rule out that possibility. Her work must be transporting the next victim to this area of the forest so unnatural and shady. After filling my lungs with air, I slowly walk towards the cat. Oh. What's up, bitch? Wanna fucking fight me, bitch? Look at his eyes. Bimbo, bimbo, bitch ass motherfucker. Stare into its eyes. Oh, <laughs> I, I am insane. I stole Yuri's knife collection. Wanna go, cat? The cat probably has a new. Her meows get louder every step, but I don't let them scare me. A fly off. Seeing that, I do not turn back. She shyly takes a step back. In my mind, she smile. I smiled at the image. The prey is now the hunter. I look directly um, while advancing. Little by little, her meows become weaker, as if she was losing strength. Then I suddenly jump and take her in my hands. She hardly resists at all. Not so tough now, right? You look better like this. Aw, kitty kitty! Oh no, it's gonna bite, bite me. me. It's gonna bite your frontal. She's trembling in my hands. She looks so helpless that I almost feel like a villain. You are. But I must not forget that all of she's done so far. So far. It's her fault that I am in this place. Okay. She brought me here then. If I kill her, would it be possible to go back? Okay. For a moment, the grim idea crosses my mind. Don't kill her. Don't kill the cat. Yeah, Please don't kill us. I hope there's an option that... I, I had never killed an animal. Truth. Is this... I can't be proud of myself for doing such a thing. But as if I, as if I do, the legend couldn't end here and now. Then what should I do? Don't kill her. Should I keep her captured? Oh, I'll just keep it. her captured. I can't save it. Oh. I'll just save it and uh next time. Okay. It's only logical the magic should die along with the cat. That should be my ticket back. If I kill her, everything would be over tonight and the legend would come to an end. I'm confident that was for the best try to view it in my mind. But no matter how hard I force myself to see it in the end, I am unable to take the life of another living being. Even if killing a cur cursed cat serving a witch, I don't feel good killing her. I think I'm far 
I'm too nice for my own good. So the only thing that remains is to keep her with me, hoping that sooner or later she want, allows me to escape. With nothing more, I think about I decide the best thing to do is to continue my path. 2.41 a.m. Hello, so It's been a few minutes since I captured the cat. Again, I find myself walking in my arms, led by this strange voice. How long have I been walking in this forest? Apparently not enough to make me go mad, but it should be close. Don't feel afraid. Come with me. I'll help you. The voice sounds closer this time. It seems that I'm going the right direction. I don't fully trust it, but it's the best I have. At least, I'll hurry up. Ow! What the heck? I shot in pain, realizing that a cat bit my arm. Fortunately, it wasn't a dangerous bite, but it was sure painful. It's mad. With my distraction, she takes the chance to jump from my arms, falling a few steps away from me. That's foxy. I quickly set my gaze on her furious, but soon something happens to make me forget about my anger. I saw her cat. Suddenly, the cat is covered in a bright light. Bro, why is freaking Discord playing at the moment? that it, repeat, it repels in the unnatural darkness surrounding the forest and steal, stealing my breath. Under the light as the figure gradually changes until it ceases to be a cat and becomes a human figure. Oh no. It's no. Oh, it. hello sexy! I knew it. What's up sexy? I knew it. No longer is there a cat in front of me but a girl with incredible, incredible, incredible beauty. I must really be going crazy. She has white hair and red eyes. She oh, seems okay. about my age. In another circumstance, I would have asked her out without hesitation. Just thinking about it makes me laugh to myself in my mind. Even at the edge of my madness, it seems some things about me will never change. She approaches slowly towards me, one step at a time with no fear. Then the girl stares into my eyes with a slightly irritated face. Her lips are moving. She seems to be saying something, but I'm unable to hear the sound. Are you trying to tell me something? <clears throat> I babbled a bit confused with uh, a face of disbelief, which surely made me look stupid. The girl said the girl with a very low voice, but I could not understand what she was saying. I can't hear you well. I asked, still confused. <coughs> Suddenly, the girl pouts in a bad mood. What's wrong with you? Are you... Deaf? Finally, I could hear. You just farted! Me. I did not fart, you idiot! I heard you crack! I farted! I did that! Are no, you stupid? I was watching you. I just saw. I. Okay, just shut up. I heard you fart. I did not fart. He farted! <laughs> yes, he did! Sonic, did you I fart? fart? Sonic, did I fart? No, I didn't, right? Because I'm right, and you're wrong, Sebastian. You're Shut not up. stupid. Stop. Sebastian is... I'm just in time, because it seems her patience was about to end. Okay, okay. Bro, now I heard you. No. You gotta call your aunt. Okay. I'll call her after this video. I said annoyed. All my astonishment yeah. went from me a few minutes ago appears when I Who? see the yeah. arrogant attitude of the girl. Are you sure? Are they having a party? I at least... I at least, um, at least now I don't think she will bite me, I hope. The girl then snorts with irritation. What an annoying guy I had to find. She said, this time, placing her lips on my, placing her hand, places a hand on her lip, she places a hand on her lips, making a pensive face. Wait, shouldn't you speak ill of someone you have right before you? I was quick to, quick to respond. For a moment, I feel annoyed at the thought that I have to teach the manners of the spirit, or whatever she is. The pity of so much beauty wasted on someone so arrogant. The girl let out a snort in the wind after hearing me. I'm sorry. It's a bad habit that I can't quit. 
she answered without sounding very repentant, clearly fault, a false apology. After talking, she diverts her gaze towards the surroundings as if she was bored. I see. I reply, I reply annoyed. I just met her and I already feel like I don't like her. But anyways, that doesn't matter. I must forget who this girl is. She was the cat that started it all. Anyways, could you tell me why you attacked me and my friends? I asked her, I sh asked her shortly after acting more seriously. The greetings were over, it's time to get to the important stuff. Why did you bite me if I wasn't doing anything? Before I know it, my, my lips were asking another question. I could not lie, I was angry. The girl stares at my face. She blinks with curiosity before speaking. Does that hurt? The wound? She asks innocently. Yes. I was quick to respond with an annoyance, and I didn't need to say no more. Of course it hurts me, silly cat. <coughs> video. She looks at me in silence for a few seconds until I suddenly she approaches me without any shyness or fear. On second thought, how could a simple human as me be scared of a cat that turns into a person? Show me your wound, said the girl. She stood right next to me. Her presence makes me nervous. This girl seems not to know what a personal, personal space is. Cut your arm off. As embarrassingly as it sounds, I never had a girl this close. If there was only, if only it wasn't in this forest. I don't know why I shouldn't trust her, but strangely, something tells me that she has no bad intentions. The girl's surrounded by a calm aura, something pure, unlike anything else in the forest. Why? In the end, I, I, in the end, resigning myself with a sigh, I show her with my my arm with a bite. I immediately, immediately the girl sets her sight on my wound. This will only take a moment, she said with complete confidence. She looks up into my eyes. Can you close your eyes? She asks, and as she blushes slight, slightly, surprised to see the embarrassment on her face. She has even just a little. <laughs> I sighed, feeling something as it wasn't right. There is nothing I felt I can do. Okay. I said, I said, doing nothing. Doing as she asked. I didn't know what to expect. For a moment, I just thought she would get naked or do something like that. What kind of magic would work when you have no clothes? I don't know, but in my mind, I wanted to imagine that. Come on, Axel, keep your composure. Suddenly, I feel something warm and wet touch my wound. How is their tongue? Oh, it's John! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Immediately, I shudder. He's looking the little Wait, like what are you doing? It's a, it's a stupid question because I knew, I knew well that she was, what she was doing. She was licking my wound. You idiot! You said you could watch. Was quick to respond cat. Okay, I think this is where we are going to end off this video. She's not in the same house. What? So I hope you all enjoyed that episode. Please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting down below what I should do in my next episode. Be sure to um, hit that bell symbol to be alerted of all my new posts. I will see you in the next episode. Beast out. Boop.